Hi everyone, I hope you are doing well. So today we are going to see how to create very simply a cell splitting setup. It's an effect that you can find regularly on the forum, but which is often too complicated. So I try to simplify it as much as possible and show you the step one by one. You can of course find the complete setup and rendering file on my Patreon. Okay, let's start now. Okay, so now we are in 3ds Max and the first thing I'm going to do is to create a geosphere. So here, a geosphere in the center. For the segment, I think 8 is good. We are now going to create a type of setup. Open editor, move the window on the left. And now we are going to create a brush object. Select the geosphere. Now what I want to do is to convert the mesh into a close. So I will add a close bind operator. And I want to start my animation maybe after the frame 10, so I will create a time test with frame 10 and no variation. Okay. I will now create another close bind, link the first event to this close bind, and change the operation to close to shape. Okay. And you can see that at frame 10, my close is not solid. It's great. Now, what I want to do is to fracture this mesh, so I will add a raw noise fracture. I just need only two points. I will go back in the menu here and in the scale multiply, I will go to 0 0.01. Okay, I can now add a rotation here like this and play with the seed to have the best angle. I think like this it's cool. Perfect like this. Okay, now add a subdivide. Here also divide, related to scale, and a value of 0 0.2. Perfect. I will now create a spawn operator and link the spawn to a shape. I can now link the spawn here to the shape, and for the shape, I will remove this one, select my geosphere, and click Add Selected. Okay. Now I have my two sphere and I want to uh, morph this two sphere into one and only sphere. Okay, so I will add third target here. Select parent for the name um, original shape. Convert now into a close bind. And now I will do a move to target. For the move to target, I select closest point on target jet mesh and select original shape. Okay, it's great. But you can see I have some trouble here, so I will add a particle switch. Particle switch here, deactivate. Okay, it's better. I can now create a standout. And we will now reactivate the setup. So activate here. And you can see we have still this problem. So to fix that, I will create a modify binding. And in the operation, I will select set to current and activate stretch, shear, and bend. Of course, before I send out. And now it's perfect. Great. Okay. Okay. Now what I want to do is to create the split. So I will add a physics, particle physics here, shape radius, maybe a value of three. Okay. And ignore starting penetration here. I can add here another modify binding. Timing this time to continuous. For the property, I will select length and stiffness and reset to original for the stretch, shear, and bend. Okay. With no interpolation, 0 0.1. Very clear. Okay, it's tough to look good. I can add a bit inflation if I want. 0 0.1. To quickly have the sphere look. 
event each of these inflate zor close okay it's already great maybe too much maybe 0 0.5 okay if you want to fix this issue, what you can do after the Brunoi, add a scale, decrease a bit the scale, like this, and it will help. Okay, now I can go back here in my modify binding. Now I will go here in the type flow, and what I can do is up a bit the step for the solver setting, for the particle bind solver setting, maybe 10. Great. Now what I want to do to create binding here, so I will add a particle bind like this. For the particle bind, I need to have some data, some data from the original shape. So I will add here a custom properties. For the custom float, the birth ID and it's good just an informational birth it's perfect i cannot go back to the particle bind here of course activate breakable and enable clustering with the right channel birth excuse me it's birth now i can play with the distance play with the stretch You can play here with a stretch. It's great like this. I can go to the type flow, add maybe a tie relax. 0 0.2, one value of iteration. And it's look really cool like this. I can maybe decrease a bit the distance. perfect like this okay now what i want to do is to create more of this so what i can do already just add a, maybe a force a bit force with a turbulence maybe a curl really slow curl we have some force in the effect like this it's cool you can add slow if you want a bit slow too okay it's really cool like this now what i want to do is to create more of this like i said so i will add a time test up the number of frame maybe 200 and the effect is good after the frame maybe 60 so 60 70 so here after frame 70 yeah i will add a split in random chance 50 percent link the time test to the split and the split Yeah, I can create a point if I want to have a better setup. And we'll see the result now. And wait. Whoa. That's really cool. Really cool effect. Okay guys, so it's over for our tutorial. I hope you've learned a lot of things. Don't forget the thumb up and to subscribe if you like my work. You can find the complete setup and scene on my Patreon and you can follow me on Instagram or Beyonce if you want. See you soon for the next tutorial guys. Bye.